So yesterday I was watching the latest APT, which is basically ask Pastor Tim and I'll be honest, where he pretty much does what I do on my channel, which is answering emails from people and giving them biblical admonition. I wanted to share with those of you who may have not watched that video, and I'll be honest, of Tim basically talking about times in his life where he and his family experienced demonic forces within his home and just other encounters with wicked people. It was very dark. Um, I wanted to do this to be a reminder to all of us, including myself, that this is spiritual warfare. <clears throat> Ephesians 6, 12, for we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers over this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. Now, I remember back when I was lost and much younger, experiencing things that I cannot explain. I remember being 20 years old, young, dumb, and lost, <laughs> and being in my first apartment. And I can remember doors just slamming shut, opening, slamming shut. Uh, I remember things would come up missing and show up in different places in my apartment. Uh, things would be knocked off, randomly knocked off of countertops and tables with no draft from the, the, the open window, everything. It was just very strange and it was dark. But even at that young age, it was like it just went over my head. I don't know if that was just me being young and stupid, but looking back at that now, it's very, very dark, very demonic. I mean, I, there were times I would be just sitting on a, on the couch and it was, you ever been in a situation where you can kind of just like feel something watching you? It's just very, very strange. Um, so let me know in the comments if you guys have ever experienced some demonic occurrences in your life uh, before you were saved that stand out. But yeah, we, um, I, I mean, look, we lived on the east side and crazy people were out there and strange things happened. And so it, it's not like we moved to a gated community and we protected you that way. It's like we came to the inner city and we exposed you to a lot. And at the same time, we were also protective. And so there, there was a balance there to show you what the world was like. And we didn't shelter you from that to show you the needs of people. But, um, you know, in, and in many ways, God protected. I mean, we had demonic things happen. Like we were here pounding on the house for a whole season there it was just part of the spiritual warfare but you realize none of the four of our children ever heard it one time god just protected them ruby and i heard it very plainly but they never heard it and so it was just the kind of thing where um you know even even like we had what i would say is modern day demoniac walk into the service and i had been talking about uh balaam and balak and before this guy came into the church then he came in and all the children shouted i think i've told the story before and anyway this guy went out it was somehow after the after the prayer meeting this guy ended up in our van there's a long story i don't want to get into it as we were driving down the road, he just looks over at me and he begins to quote, I think it's Numbers 32, verbatim. This is a street guy. He's quoting no, He's quoting that account of Balaam and Balak. And he wasn't even there when I was talking about it. Now he's, and, and where Balaam says to his donkey, if I had a sword, I'd stab you. And so we got this guy out of there and we're driving along and all the kids are freaked out. And Joshua says, Dad, is he talking to you or is he quoting scripture? I said, both. <laughs> but it's like God protected. I mean, I had Joshua in my arms when some lady, some demon voice was coming out.